Alright guys, now before this video starts, I want to say sorry because the microphone quality in this video is really bad. I didn't realize it, but when I actually moved the microphone, I guess I moved it into the wrong place and it didn't sound very good when I was listening to it. So I just want to say sorry about that. It will be fixed in the next episode and hopefully you guys don't mind it that much. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this video and enjoy the rest of it. Peace. Alright guys, today I want to talk to you guys about the whole freedom theory going on around uh, Five Nights at Freddy's 2, the trailer where Foxy jumps at you. If you actually slow it down, people are thinking Foxy is screaming freedom, as in he's jumping at you, killing you, and I guess escaping. Now that's what I actually want to talk about in this video. Now first of all, I'm going to the Steam community forums for Five Nights at Freddy's 2. The thread is called Foxy Freedom Theories if you want to check it out yourself. Now basically, I want to go over some ideas that people are talking about in the comment section of this whole, um, you know, forum. So the first one, the first comment by Lucara, Luca Toro Gamer, Mr. Kubrick, basically says maybe the ghosts and the animatronics want to possess the guard's body so that they can live in a real body again and not some twisted animatronic. Now, this does kind of make sense, as in he's jumping at you to kill you and then take over your body and live again. But the reason that I'm thinking this is incorrect is because in the first one, they didn't want to take over your body. They wanted to kill you and stuff you in to an animatronic. Now, I don't know what the new animatronics are going to be doing in this game, but from the trailer that we saw, that's old Foxy. That's not new Foxy. So old Foxy doesn't want to do that to you. He wants to stuff you in a body unless he's actually or in a suit, unless he's decided to turn, change his mind and he just wants to escape now. But I'm not really thinking this theory makes all that much sense from him, but it is possible. Now, the next one I want to talk about is from Zero... Or Zero... Zero Faggy Nine. This guy's got some really complicated names, and he says, "I actually think he's getting. He's saying get rid of her, as in get rid of Foxy 2.0, or maybe there's a new girl character that's scary and Scott hasn't revealed yet." Theory commence. Look, theory commence. So, this one actually interests me a lot, but the only thing is, I don't really hear him screaming "get rid of her." But if he is, I do want to talk about this. Um, basically, it does kind of make sense. He's screaming "get rid of her," but. What doesn't make sense is he's screaming it while killing you, so that really wouldn't make sense either. But if he is, it would kind of make sense in the line that he's got he's gotten replaced by this new newer version of himself, and it's better. It's got you know the kids like it more. He's not being used anymore because he's been beat up and torn down. So it does kind of make sense that he's screaming, "Get rid of her!" He doesn't want her there anymore, and maybe he thinks you can get rid of her somehow. But like I said before, it doesn't really make sense because he's trying to kill you. So why would he be screaming that? And now to the main theory why he's screaming freedom. Like I said before, I don't think... I mean, it does kind of make sense he would be screaming th freedom as he's killing you. But where would he go? As in, you know, he's going to kill you, but then... that doesn't. It just doesn't link with the main story of the game, of how they're trying to stuff you in suits. Why does he want to escape and none of the other ones do? Unless maybe they all do, and, um, you know prior uh in the prior version of this game where they wanted to stuff you in a suit and keep you there and they're you know they were wired to do this maybe their wiring's messed up and they actually are thinking for themselves now that's what people are kind of thinking here and they want to escape now they don't want to be in this place anymore they want to kill you who's holding them in here watching their every move and just escape so that is basically the freedom theory right now i want to know your guys opinion on this I think there's a lot of, you know, beliefs with this whole theory here, and I think it could be going really far if it actually, if he actually is saying freedom. Obviously, like I said before, he could just be screaming, and this is all, you know, just a bunch of baloney that we just wanted to talk about. But anyways, I want to know what you guys think, and uh, yeah, tell me in the comment section down below. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more, and stay tuned for tomorrow's Five Nights at Freddy's 2 video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.